So before we start this video, I just want to apologize. Yes, I know my window is super muddy. I was driving through somewhere yesterday and I didn't have a second to clean it. But anyways, back today with some Challenger SRT Demon news and updates. Dodge has been and will continue to put out these teaser clips, which hint a little bit more information up into the April reveal at the New York Auto Show, which I'll be attending to get some great footage for you guys on this beast of a vehicle. So what we know so far and what has been confirmed through the past recent teaser. So this Demon will be at least 200 pounds lighter than the Hellcat, which may not seem like a lot, but it will definitely make a bit of a difference. The Demon will also come with 18 by 11 wheels all around. The Hellcat came with 275 tires all around, and I would have thought common sense, that wasn't enough tire. So many people have complained about that. If you buy a Hellcat right off the show floor, good luck putting that power down and hooking. So if you can see by this really cool picture here, these 18 by 11 wheels will be wrapped with 315, 40, 18 Nitto NT05Rs, which I think is really cool. It's just another little simple touch that really makes this Demon special. So these are drag radials and I could totally be wrong, but this may be the first production car that comes straight from the factory with drag radials. Like I said, I could be wrong. So that solves the speculation that myself and many of others have had as well. Basically that we were under the impression that this car was gonna come out, yes, with 315s, possibly not drag radials. So this car would be roughly a 10, 10.1, 10.2 second car. By doing so, if you were to put drag radials on the car, you would be easily, easily accessible within the nine second quarter mile, which then you would need to actually get a cage for. So that Dodge wouldn't have to worry about putting a cage in or whatever. And then by doing so, if you were to put your drag radials on, easily accessible into those nine second quarter mile, then that cage would be your responsibility and up to you. So now that we know that we're getting this car with drag radials, this car, I would still suspect that it's going to be around a 10, 10.1 second car, which is fantastic. And will be more than accessible by not even a slight modification to get this car in the nines, no problem. So at the end of the most recent teaser clip, you can see this is the back end of the Challenger SRT Demon. We have seen within the last week and a half, spy shots and most likely confirmed shots of the front end. Now we're looking at the back end. Let's first look at the wide body and the fender flares here. They look great. Once that we heard that this Demon was going to be a wide body, I was desperately hoping that this wasn't just gonna be some Liberty Walk type kit thrown on a Hellcat and call it a day. Because Dodge could totally do better than that. So I'm really happy that supposedly from the back end that this will look like a really nice wide body kit on this Challenger Demon. Now let's get to the most important, what I believe to be the most important out of this teaser clip, the secret message on this license plate. So this license plate reads, pound symbol 2576 at 35. So when I first saw that, the second I saw that, I was like, hmm, what does that mean? So I saw the pound symbol 2576. I was like around 2,500 pounds. Dodge would have to be the best magician in the world to pull something off like that. So that's definitely not happening. So mark that off your list. Then I looked right at the at 35 and took a second and I was like, oh shit, 35 PSI? That would be absolutely ridiculous, insane. So I started looking into a little more and the 2576 got a little more clearer to me. So the Hellcat, which is a 6.2 liter supercharged V8, the blower on that I believe is a 2380 displacement blower, which is a 2.4 liter blower. So it would totally make sense that this 2576 would be the displacement of the new supercharger on this Demon, which would make it, I believe, around a 2.6 liter blower. And that 35 still would, would, wouldn't make sense. It would be insane for 35 PSI. So I believe the 35 is the mercury gauge pressure or the manifold pressure of this blower, which would be around 19 to 20 PSI, which would be fantastic. So this is what we know so far for the Challenger SRT Demon. I wanna thank you guys for tuning in. 
If you're stopping by for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. I will be attending the New York Auto Show and getting some great content and footage of this Challenger SRT Demon reveal. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Take care.